This is Witchbase News for Friday the 20th of September 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news the September update has landed and we'll also have some community dates for your diary. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings and community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds and the Burr Pit community news email address are in the description below. The September update landed this week bringing with it the new starter experience and pilot training grounds, a new livery system, the ARC's virtual currency and a not insignificant bucket of bugs. The feedback on the frankly much needed new starter experience has been largely positive so far. We'll be trying that for ourselves over the coming weekend. Do watch out for that. The current plan is for a Twitch livestream of Reeny Flies featuring the new starter experience. If you want to try the new starter experience for yourself you absolutely can. Just look at the right hand menu in your ship under the training section. The introduction of the ARC's virtual currency has been unsurprisingly and understandably controversial and the bugs were, again understandably, disappointing and not entirely unexpected. Frontier however have been very quick to react to the bugs and the community team made significant effort to keep in touch with the community ensuring that the player base has been kept up to date on the list of known bugs and importantly the fixes which was really good to see. There's a couple of forum threads linked below that detail what is currently known about bugwise and what has been fixed. On the livery system front it's hard to make a terribly informed commentary on what is currently there as of my recording this as it's still quite buggy. However there is an interesting post on Reddit by Commander 100 Rub of the AXI talking about the sudden appearance of the big blue store button in the predominantly orange station services screen and how the sudden appearance of something essentially from outside of the game in a previously totally inside the game environment could be considered somewhat immersion breaking. I understand that change in a video game can often be jarring and take some time to get used to but is there really a need for the out of game store to be pushed quite so aggressively when you're not even in the livery system? I'm not personally convinced that this is the right direction and is in danger of perhaps alienating some players. I hope Frontier consider the feedback on this and monitor its effect going forward. On the subject of bugs in the patch as I mentioned previously this wasn't entirely unexpected. In years gone by Frontier used to beta test upcoming patches in the community before launch and whilst it didn't catch every single bug it certainly did catch some of them and people were happy and frankly excited to be part of it. I'm sure Frontier have their reasons but I'm struggling to understand at the moment why they stepped away from that process. Again I hope they look at the feedback and are able to give that particular policy decision another look. We've got some significant community dates for your ED diary coming up. Firstly next weekend we'll see Commander Plater's 24 hour charity livestream in aid of the British Thyroid Foundation. Starting at midday on the 28th of September Plater will be joined by a series of content creator guests who will all set him challenges throughout the marathon event. Do not miss this. Join in the fun and also help support a very worthwhile charity. We'll also be there. Our very own expedition event the pit trip starts on the 29th of September. Rather unusually the pit trip expedition is more a series of small weekly excursions from the bubble to take in some local sights, sounds and group shenanigans. There's a link below to the sign up form. Filling that out will get you added to the official roster for the trip and grant you access to the full itinerary including all the optional waypoints and the private group we're using for the expedition if you're on PC. Plus you'll also get access to the pit trip discord channel and your own pit trip ship ID number. A fair few people have signed up via EDSM but haven't yet signed up via our in house system. If you're one of those people then there's a link in the description to get you hooked in. Speedball 3 got its official launch forum post this last week. The third Gravity Well Galactic Speed Flight Championships will be throwing itself at Margulis Depot in the 61 Virginis system on the 9th and 10th of November. 
If you're unfamiliar with the reckless endangerment of speed bowling then the links in the description will get you familiar with the method and the madness in this most irresponsible of elite activities. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then O7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.